Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cappy. First up, we have the King of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana of the Lovers in the upright. And next, we have Major Arcana of the Hermit in the upright. Followed then by the Ace of Wands upright. And lastly, we have the Nine of Cups in the upright. All right, I'm going to go ahead and interpret your read. First of all, Cappy, for your overall energy, I've added the King of Pentacles in the upright position. Can of, King of Pentacles is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, it is Earth energy, that of Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn like yourself, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. The King of Pentacles can also represent a banker, a real estate agent, um, someone dealing with finance, maybe a financial advisor. Could be for some of you that is very important this week. Some of you could be dealing with um, a banker or um, maybe you're dealing with them through for mortgages or loans or real estate agent. You could be selling property or buying property this week. Uh, for others of you, you could just be the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is sitting pretty, uh, sitting pretty well in terms of stability, security, and finances. It could be some of you maybe have landed a really good job where you feel really secure in and stable in. You could be making good money. Or like I said, this could be your partner or a family friend or something like that who is maybe helping you deal with your finances and helping you on a major level. Very good and strong, stable energy. If this is you yourself, Capricorn, you are coming up in your own reading in the upright position. So it means whatever it is you're doing this week, you're on the right track. <laughs> and coming right off the hop, we do see the energies of Major Arcana, the lovers in the upright position. This is the Gemini card. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Now the lovers is all about making a choice or a decision. This we can choose to love, we can choose not to love. If this is playing out in terms of a romantic situation for you, you could be choosing between two different people. Maybe you're dating two different people and it's come time to make a choice or a decision. For others of you, could be choosing to uh, take your relationship to the next level, maybe uh, getting married or moving in together. Others of you could be choosing to um, a, a partner, maybe a business partner, perhaps the King of Pentacles for some of you is a business partner or a financial partner in something. Whatever the situation is, you're partnering up and you're making a choice and making a decision right off the hop. You're not fooling around this week, Capricorn, you're coming right into a major decision and it's paired up with Major Arcana, the... Um, Hermit in the upright position. This is a Virgo card. Some of you could, maybe you're choosing between a Gemini and a Virgo. <laughs> uh, the um, Hermit in the upright position points to uh, needing to maybe take a time out. It could be a little bit of solitary energy. Perhaps Capricorn, maybe you need to do some research. It could be that if you have recently decided to make a choice or a decision to uh, work for a new company or something like that, or take on a new business partner or a new financial situation. It could be that you need to do some research. For others of you, you could just be hitting the books really strong this week. Maybe you need to study and uh, take a step back and take a time out from socializing and just really sort of put your nose to the grindstone. Whatever the situation is, you could be really, really researching and doing your homework on this uh, this choice or this decision at the early part of the week, which is smart. The Capricorns are very smart people. You don't enter into partnerships or things like that lightly. You know exactly what you're doing and you make sure you do your research beforehand. And some of you could just be sort of withdrawing. Maybe you just need to take a time out because um, you may need to do some you know, self-analysis or something like that. And then moving on towards the weekend, we do see the lovely energies of the Ace of Wands in the upright position. This could represent a passionate new relationship that comes about for you, Capricorn, this week, where you're just really, really enthralled. It could be something brand new, and it's like, wow, you know, this person really caught my attention. For others of you, this could represent a new idea that comes out of the 
anti-cosmos. Could be a brand new career idea, business idea that just really, really strikes you as something that you want to move towards. Others of you maybe are making travel plans. You could be planning uh, to travel somewhere and uh, could be traveling to be with somebody or to meet up with somebody. Whatever the situation is, you're really, really, you know, jazzed about it. So that's awesome. And the last card you have up, Capricorn, hello, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the wish card. Make a wish this week at the end of the week, Capricorn, looks like you just may get it. So whatever that wish is, whether it's for a financial situation, whether it's for a relationship, whether it's for uh, a new career or what have you or travel, whatever it is, it looks like you're going to get your wish and you're going to be celebrating. This is coming towards the weekend energy. So it could be celebration time. Um, just don't celebrate too much because you could regret it the next day. Just saying. <laughs> what a fantastic reading for you, Cappy. Good to see it. And in closing, I'm going to be pulling a Chakra Wisdom Oracle card for you. Let's see what other messages are around for Cappies. Let's see, Cappy, what's going on? Instinct. Instinct. Maybe listen to your instincts this week. <laughs> and it might lead you right to your wish. So Instinct is your card from there. And I'll pull you a second card from the Lenormand deck, the Under the Roses beautiful deck. Let's see what the Lenormand deck now has uh, in store for Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with the Lenormand deck. Come on, Cappy, give me a good card for Cappy. <laughs> what's happening with the Capricorns? Well, okay, Key. Somebody else got this. I don't know if it was a Key. It could have been Scorpio. Scorpio also got the lover. Some of you could be dealing with Scorpio, but it could be that you find the Key this week. The key to a mystery. Oh, you also have the um, the hermit here. The hermit's looking for something, searching for something. So it could be that you find the key in the Lenormand deck. The key is finding a major clue to something that's important. So those are your messages for this week, Capricorn. I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.